everyone, welcome to our 900 subscriber special. In this video, I will show you how to use the fire extinguisher to enhance your mega hide and seek gaming experience, also called the fire hydrant. Let's go! There are three easy steps to follow. 1. Buy the fire extinguisher. 2. Equip the fire extinguisher. And 3. Use the fire extinguisher. To buy the fire extinguisher, go to shop, select toys, and then see if it's on sale. If it's not on sale, you can click on the toy chest and purchase a random toy for 400 coins or 80 diamonds. Keep purchasing until you get the fire extinguisher. To equip, go to inventory. Then toys, select the fire extinguisher and click on equip. Once equipped, you'll see that it appears in the middle bottom of your screen. Now if you're new to fire hydrant, it is best to start in low gravity mode. To use the fire extinguisher, hold the jump button and tap your screen continuously. You'll be jumping on the bubbles to get higher. There are four things to consider. A. The correct distance. B. The correct angle and maintaining that angle. C. Consistent bubbles. D. The landing. The correct distance. See how the bubbles are bouncing off the wall and hitting my feet? That is too far, which means you can't jump on the bubbles. You can get pushed back being too far away from the wall. When you're too close, you can also get pushed back as well. The right distance will mean you can jump on the bubbles and continue to do so going higher and higher each time. The next thing to consider is having the correct angle. The correct angle is when the bubbles hit the wall and bounce right back at you. A tip to finding the right angle is to zoom into first person and then adjust that way. While tapping for bubbles, be careful not to change your angle, otherwise you will fall because the bubbles are no longer sprayed in the right direction. Maintaining the right angle is very important. The third thing to consider is consistent bubbles. As you tap for bubbles, you need to maintain the same consistent tapping as you go up. If you lose the rhythm, you will fall and have to start again. The fourth item to consider is the landing, the final push to get you onto your target. It is easier if you go much higher so that you can have room to land successfully. Most people will struggle with landing in standard mode. Here are some tips for using fire extinguisher. 1. Some people find it easier using fire extinguisher completely in first person. 2. Use both fingers to tap for double bubbles. <laughs> Useful in standard mode. 3. The wall doesn't necessarily need to be flat. It can be a curved object that you're using fire extinguisher on. Just need to spend a bit more time to get the right angle so that the bubbles are bouncing back at you. 4. Taller avatars with longer legs can use a fire extinguisher easier. And 5. Certain animations can use a fire extinguisher easier, such as old school jump animation. We will show you where to purchase this. It costs 80 Robux for the old school animation pack. So where to next? Practice, practice, practice. Once you're confident in using fire extinguisher in low gravity, challenge yourself with standard mode. Good luck. See part two of this video for fire extinguisher spots for each map. Enjoy.